hello you welcome once again to danicom channel so far we really appreciate your support for the subscription please don't forget to share this channel to somebody as well this is a channel that is dedicated to providing you with useful educational information this channel is all about giving you technological trends updates security and a lot don't forget to click on the subscription button and click on the notification bell so that anytime we post a video you get a notification in today's video i'm going to teach you how to check if your laptop has been hacked and somebody is using your machine without your notice or when you are not around in the office your colleagues do mess up with your own computer or other things so far as they have your logins all right welcome back once again today i'm going to show you how to use canary tokens how to use canary tokens and so quickly without wasting much time as we have been doing you know this channel is all about providing you with useful educational information so quickly we will go to our laptop or our computer whatever that you are using then i will show you how to use a particular tool a particular tool that will enable you to check if your computer has been one hacked or two when you are not around somebody uses your machine without your notice and so quickly we will go to our machine as i said and when you go to your machine you open a browser you open a browser and so when you open a browser what you are supposed to do from the machine is that you open a new tab a new tab as you can see you open a new tab and when you open a new tab what you are going to do is take your time and follow this step by step and it will amaze you when you are not in the office or when you are not around who uses your machine without your notice even when your machine is connected to the internet who also has access to certain informations or data on your machine remember data is very very important and you cannot afford to lose data into the hands of the wrong person so don't go anywhere just follow me step by step and i will walk you through all the things that you are supposed to do so so what you are supposed to have is that you must have an email that is active or working linked to your phone tablet or any other smart device that wherever you are if you get an email you will be notified okay and so first thing is you must have an active email the next thing is you need to use what we call canary token canary token is a tool that almost 80 to 90 percent of software penetration testers uses it this is a secured platform where almost 80 to 90 percent of people who do what we call software penetration software penetration is about trying to see if you can enter into a particular software or a platform without the notice of the developer and all those who have been doing this penetration testing about 80 to 90 percent of these people uses this platform i am going to show you and so quickly we will go over to the computer again then when you open the new tab you click inside the new and type canary canary token canary tokens don't worry the link will be shared over the description or the comment section for you to have access to it if you cannot remember the name the name is canary tokens canary to when you click on canarytokens.org it will open the platform for you like this so on this platform we have a lot of things that you will be able to do on your computer with this particular platform that whenever somebody tempers with it either by having access to your computer through your own password or a hacker has entered your computer without your notice whatever they do you will be notified and so when you come to this platform we have some web bag that's url token we have dns we have a or like there are a lot of things that you can do with this particular platform here 
so what we are going to do is we are just going to create a simple excel sheet just to use it to track who has been using our computer without our notice or who has hacked our computer and is stealing data from us so quickly click on the microsoft excel document when you click on microsoft excel document they will ask you to provide your email the email is what they are going to send you a notification anytime something happens on your laptop or your desktop remember that and so quickly i'll put in my i will just put in my email and when you get it, a reminder note when this token is triggered so you just put a note there that will be given to you whenever this particular excel is triggered For instance alert me when my pc is okay. so now you have your platform set is that microsoft excel is what you are using to do the tracking right i'm saying that it should always alert you when your pc is tempered or touched without your notice okay now you create on create my canary token so when you click on this they will ask you to download this excel so you quickly download this excel to your computer and when you download this excel to your computer i'm going to show you something simple now this is the excel sheet okay as you can see this is the excel sheet so i'll open okay so i'll go to my downloads and this is the excel i'll rename it remember this part i'll rename it and the renaming is very very important because one you are trying to track if you are absent somebody uses your computer or two you have been hacked but you don't even know that you have been hacked so what you are going to do in this renaming part is that you must give the file a name that a hacker will be interested in opening or somebody who has been using your computer will be interested in opening that particular file. for instance i can rename this file as ladies i have dated and their contact you get it ladies i have dated and their contact anyone who has been using my computer without my notice would like to know how many ladies i have dated and their contacts i can also decide to name this all my bank accounts and their passwords when a hacker comes to this particular computer he will be interested in opening this particular file because he wants to know all your bank accounts and their passwords so at this point you are tricking him to open the file so that you'll be able to know that somebody is also using the machine with you so when you are renaming the file make sure you rename the file in a way that it will look like let me open this file to see what is there so you can have different ways of naming that file example how many people maybe i have helped and their contacts how many people you have done this to and their contacts so name the file in a way that somebody will be tempted to open so i am going to name this file like all my bank accounts and their password like this and now hit on enter now i'll copy this particular file i'll copy this particular file and leave it on desktop always try to make it visible because you are trying to trap somebody or a hacker so make the file visible for instance like this so as you can see it's on desktop okay now that we have our file on desktop what's next we are going to try and see if somebody tempers with the computer we will get a notice okay so we we'll go to our desktop and look at all the items here and just try to open this just open this just open so you double click and the file is opening the file is opening so when somebody opens this particular file all that he's trying to look out for is your passwords and your uh, account numbers you open and you realize that 
there is nothing inside this you say shit then you close it as soon as he closes it wherever you are the email that you linked to your phone or uh, to the excel will be given an alert so quickly let's go here you can see that inside this email that i am opening i will be given an alert that my excel sheet has been tempered meaning when i am not around or even when i am absent from work and because i use my computer with somebody somebody has been opening files i don't know so as you can see from above here canary token was triggered as you can see here your canary token was triggered so when you click on this you can see a lot of sensitive information inside here that you can really use to track whoever and wherever he is because you will be given an IP address of the source machine and other sensitive information. Don't forget to click on the subscription button as I have been saying. And don't forget to share the video to also let somebody always be on track. At Danicom channel, we bring you sensitive educational information that will really help put your life in a way that at least you will be secure leave the link inside the subscription box as well and so you can follow if you have a question if you have a comment if you want us to tackle a particular topic everything that you want us to have and, and uh, uh, have on our desk you can confidently put them in the comment section and we'll pick them and work on it for